Hello and welcome friend, my name is Annika and today I'm talking a little bit about inspiration, sketching and yeah, ideas I guess because this was one of those where it didn't come easy I had been away for the weekend and I hadn't drawn for a couple of days and I was tired but I was determined to make something and uh, I don't know why I decided that recording was a good idea, but that's what I did. And um, yeah, I uh, first you see me sketching out some kind of uh, creature monster, but I, I that idea didn't really spark anything more. I couldn't see an end result for it, so I erased it. And then I went on to sketching a cat, which didn't either really... Maybe I could have done something with it if I had a more clearer clearer idea in my head of what else I could have added. But then I decided I was going to make one of my characters. But I wanted a more childlike character because I wanted the entire body in the picture. And since it's a landscape picture, it's hard to fit in a taller character without making it too small for details. So I thought that a child-like character would be fun to do. And uh, I, at first she had um, round ears, but uh, then I decided that she's a little elf girl. And um, I don't know where the idea of a big poofy dress came from but I think in my mind I had determined that I wanted to do some kind of princess because I had done a few princesses earlier and uh, yeah I really wanted to use my fine tech gold palette and uh, yeah a gold crown is a, a good excuse to use them so that's what I did I did sketch on her quite a bit, uh, but then came the, the trouble with the background. I, I didn't have a clear idea of what I wanted her to interact with. At first I thought maybe I could do some kind of a mirror or... I don't know what the first thing was <laughs> that I sketched, but I think I was going with mirror first. But then for some reason... I I got the idea that it was some kind of test tube or tank with a mermaid in it. And I really like that idea and I will I think I will do something another day with that idea cuz I think that could be good but not in uh, such small ACO size which is if you don't know 2.5 inch by 3.5 inch and uh, so it's pretty small, so it's hard to get details in it. I, the mermaid idea didn't work out, but I decided that... Uh, I don't remember if I decided that it wasn't going to work before or after I lined the elf girl. But I... yeah, it's... I, I thought I, I will line her and then I will see how it works. Because with the mermaid, it didn't really work as a composition. If I would have used this idea with a mermaid in the tank, then I would have moved the whole scene a little bit to the left. So uh, there weren't so much empty space on the left side of the elf girl. And um, yeah. I decided that I, she wore a dress that it was too big for her and that was where I got uh, the idea for her uh, maybe dressing up in her mother's clothes. I thought that that could be kind of cute. I wanted to do poofy hair and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cute. And um, 
yeah, uh, right now there's not much happening, um, but I'm erasing the mermaid in the tank and I'm being a little bit careful because the pentel pocket brush do bleed sometimes. And here I am sketching in a creature of some kind. I didn't really know what I wanted. I wanted it to have a crown as well. I w at first I think I was going with more of a bear shape or pig. Maybe a pig would have been uh, kind of cute. But the same with... If I would have worked with that, I needed more space. Uh, so I ended up doing a cat with a bow tie and uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty cute in the end. I think it, the scene works. Uh, it's sitting on one of those couch things. Well, I don't know what they're called, but yeah, it's a puff thing and um, yeah, it's pretty cute and uh, I decided that it was having its paw up and that's the part where I messed up when I was lining it and uh, yeah but as I said the idea kind of grew from me sketching out things normally uh, maybe I would have had a more clearer idea when I started out but I was tired and it really was difficult I think I spent maybe like half an hour just on the sketching part. I think that's probably the part that took the longest time because when I finally went in with the inking and the coloring it kind of went on pretty quick but the sketching part was the most difficult and time cons consuming. Uh, sometimes that's something that happens because sometimes I don't get an idea right away I need to uh, kind of play with l lines, shapes, forms I think that's most often the way I work I, I kind of sketch often a circle because that's pretty easy especially if you're doing a character then it's easy to just make circle and uh, then go from there. And uh, I do get inspiration from photos, art, and sometimes even real life, which isn't very often nowadays, I think. Or maybe, I don't know, but it's the inspiration comes from a lot of different places and sometimes it's a combination of a lot of things. And uh, yeah, and I do get a lot of inspiration from my old sketches, which is another good reason to keep a sketchbook. Right now I've been a little bit behind in my current sketchbook, because we have been away a few days uh, celebrating Midsummer here in Sweden. And uh, yeah, uh, not much uh, drawing has been done, sadly, and I'm trying to get back into things but my daughter has been sick and uh, she's in a period right now where she needs a lot of attention so drawing isn't prior priority number one right now my daughter is uh, but i hope you understand and that's also why i am so very much behind on comments and i'm so sorry uh, i'm trying my best to kind of catch up but uh, i'm a uh, few vid videos behind uh, still and uh, I I don't I can't get to everyone at this point so I'm sorry for that but I'm doing my best to uh, reply to as many as I can but I do struggle with uh, yeah being social <laughs> uh, right now it's really hard but I'm doing my best so and um, yeah, and the coloring part of this is pretty easy. I decided I had the I was going to have the dress purple, and uh, since the dress was purple, it was natural for the bow tie to be that way. And um, 
I, at first she was going to have black hair but I thought it would be more striking with kind of blondish hair so that's what I did um, uh, maybe the golden crown doesn't stand out uh, when I'm using that but um, yeah it's pretty cute anyway and for the gold I also used it on the dress uh, with a few dots and also on the puff thing that the cat is sitting on and on the bow tie and uh, yeah I don't think I mentioned but I'm thinking that they are playing dress <laughs> but I'm thinking that they are playing dress up and uh, yeah I really do like how it ended up looking and uh, yeah I hope you do too what else could I say so as I mentioned I had been I have been away for a few days and haven't really drawn uh, that much but I have um, made a few new ones uh, new ACO sizes and they are now available in my shop and uh, when I'm recording this the this one is also available if you want to get it and um, and I don't always record what I'm doing, so if you're missing out on seeing my work, uh, I, al I always suggest that you follow me on Instagram, because that's the place where I'm most active. I also have a Facebook page, but sadly I'm, yeah, I'm not <laughs> very good at Facebook right now, so it's a little bit neglected, but Instagram is, I try to update daily, so that's the place to look if you want to see what I'm doing. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I want to say. I'm not sure if I my thoughts came across all right with the whole sketching thing and ideas. Uh, maybe I could do a more real-time uh, clip of me sketching and talking at the same time, which if you watch my previous video was difficult so maybe that's not a great idea but then I was on a time limit so maybe if I yeah we'll work it out so yeah and here I'm trying to show off the shimmer of the gold and here I am showing off the current available ACOs that I have in my shop uh, if you're watching this in the future maybe they are no longer available but i al always have other aco sizes or other original sizes as well as prints in my shop on etsy if you're interested i'm going to wrap it up right now so as always thank you very much for watching hey -do.